With the release of his new song named after Dua Lipa, Jack Harlow has admitted his crush on the British musician. Following the release of First Class, the Kentucky-born rapper has released his much-anticipated new album, Come Home, The Kids Miss You. But the internet is buzzing about Jack's track about Dua Lipa, in which he hints at his feelings for the levitating and break my heart singer. Here's more information about the song, including lyrics and social media reactions. On Friday, May 6, Jack Harlow's second studio album was released on all major streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music. Come Home, The Kids Miss You has 15 songs and features Drake, Lil Wayne, Pharrell, and Justin Timberlake. The album comes after Jack released two singles, Nail Tech and First Class. The latter sampled Fergie and ludicrous single Glamorous, which was released in 2006. We've been locked in the studio for a year. I turned down every party invitations, gave up all my vices, and worked hard to put myself and my team in the positions we want to be in. The rapper wrote in the captions of an Instagram post announcing his new project. Coming from Louisville, we have a different appreciation for this level of success, and I refuse to throw away what is right in front of me. I'm sure you can see it as well. You'll never know how much work goes into this music, but I believe you'll be able to hear it this time. Enjoy! Dua Lipa, a song about the British pop star of the same name, is one of the new studio album's most controversial tracks. The 24-year-old rapper confesses his crush on Dua in the song. Singing, Dua Lipa and others, I'm attempting to do more with than just a feature. I check the web, they are chewing me up. F it, fade away. I left that Lucania bucket I heard you said you could be us. Nothing. Dedicating an entire track to someone is a big deal and Jack isn't afraid to express his emotions through his music. All that remains is to await Dua's reactions or some sort of response on her social media channels. She may decide to do a collaboration with a rapper after all. It's safe to say that Dua Lipa's song has sent a number of Twitter users into a frenzy due to the song's daring lyric. He made a song after Dua Lipa. Jack Harlow takes different shots. One person commented, OK, I love Dua Lipa by Jack Harlow. This is a hit. The beat is insane. Another person said, I don't even like Jack Harlow, but I love Dua Lipa, so that's my new song said another. Harlow, who made his Breakfast Club debut on Friday, talked about FaceTiming Dua and playing Dua Lipa for her. I wanted to get her approval. I didn't want her to be taken aback or feel creeped out by it. Dua's reaction? I suppose it's alright. I wouldn't have come out if she had said, yo, I hate it, I don't want it to come out. Harlow added. When asked if he had a crush on Dua, Harlow replied, I admire her. I believe she'll appreciate the song even more once it's released. Speaking of shooting shots, Deadline reports that Tayana Taylor, Lance Reddick, and Laura Harrier have joined Harlow's White Men Can Jump reboot. Harlow will star a 20th Century Fox remake of Ron Shelton's 1992 comedy, which starred Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson as hustlers specializing in street basketball. Young Jackman Thomas Harlow began his musical journey in high school before becoming one of the genre's household names. Born in Louisville in 1998, he started rapping with an old friend, Copeland, and released their CD, Rippin' and Rappin', while still in middle school. He then transferred to Atherton High School, where he recorded several mixtapes, and the rest is history. I can't stop thinking of rhyming words. Whenever I hear someone say something, I try to rhyme it," he said in an interview. It sounds corny to say, ugh, he's a rapper and can't stop rhyming, but that's exactly what it was. I almost feel like it was part of my puberty. Growing up with musical ambitions, young Jack Harlow looked up to many musical heroes from various genres. His musical influences include Drake, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Outkast, and even Johnny Cash and Jesse McCartney. We didn't get to meet, but we had a phone call that meant the world to me. He told Billboard of collaborations with Eminem on the Rap God's Killer Remix. I haven't yet shared it with the world, but I can't wait for the world to hear it. He gave me many props that any artist would appreciate, he told me. You're that. You're sick. I've been waiting for that for a decade, so it was unique. Jack Harlow is the newest hip-hop talent on the block to, to keep an eye on over the next few years, even decades. And with that being said, it's time to end our videos. Are you a fan of Jack Harlow? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.